everybody, it's Hunter here with Maestro Squared, and today we're going to do an unboxing video to set up my Blue Yeti. So I already have my Blue Yeti, and it had the stand with it, but I wanted to set it up with my desk, so I have a desk mount, a pop filter, and a mount that keeps it from vibrations and stuff, a shock mount. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this open here. Alrighty, got some nice packaging. What we have here is our newer desk clamp for the mic stand. Um, that way we can bring it down and raise it up over here. So that's the first thing I got out of the box. To go along with that, to mount my Blue Yeti on there, we're going to have the plastic shock mount for the Yeti mic. This is made by Alphonics. And lastly, we just got a pop filter from newer. Hopefully this works well. And all of the items will be in the description along with the Blue Yeti and you guys can go check those out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one of the easiest things probably to get out of the box and that's the pop filter. That way we can already have that out. Open it up here. Let's get it out. Got a nice, solid, not too heavy. That way it's not going to weigh your thing down. This is really nice right here. Doesn't make a lot of noise unless you get it in a certain position like I did but maybe it's just because new. Uh, looks like this will just clamp on to the arm mount, so that's really good. You're going to help out with the quality. Then we'll move on to the shock mount. Hopefully this is good. I hope it's just not a piece of crap. Seems pretty solid. I don't know how it's going to work, but I mainly needed it just so I can use it with the newer mic stand because without it, you weren't able to use it. Got to tear up some plastic here. Here we go. Seems like we got a place where we can just hook this into the bottom of the Yeti. It's got a nice little padding, so whenever you tighten it down, it won't be too bad. And lastly, the most important piece of the rig. First thing out of the box is a main unit, which is going to be clamping to the desk. And then the second thing in the bag looks like the clamp, and we'll have to get that set up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to clamp this onto the desk, and then from there I'll show you guys how I do the rest of this. So we have the newer mic stand properly attached. I recommend if you get one of these to not screw it too tight because this is kind of plasticky, and I feel like if I tighten it with my strength, that it's just going to break. What I have attached is the shock mount. And for the price, I think was around 20 bucks, but don't quote me on that. Um, I don't really think it's worth my money, but if it works, it works. It's very plasticky. Um, if you're hearing noises, because I don't think this is tightened down yet. But I really hope it works, and I really just don't want my mic to fall down on my keyboard while I'm recording. I now have the Blue Yeti attached to the shock mount and to the mic stand. Next is to just attach the pop filter to this bad boy. That way we can get even better sound. I now have the pop filter attached to the mic stand. I don't think it adds that much weight. I wasn't able to attach it to the arm, so I went from the top and swung it over and down, which I think is going to be the best solution. So if I move it, it's going to be wherever it goes. Overall, this is really going to complete this setup. It wasn't too much. It really didn't take that much time. The price was around $42. I'm kind of impressed. I really love the color. Hopefully it helps me out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please hit that like button If you didn't hit the dislike button go in the comments Tell us what would you like to maybe unbox next if there ever becomes enough of you we can do unboxings of what you guys send us but um, We'd have to grow so help us grow subscribe and share this video for your other friends and just hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys later